So that was a lot of drama in the YouTube gaming community last night, but uh, <laughs> what's up guys? Uh, while that was all going on, we were doing the uh, fan event to play with me on a couple servers, and we had a pretty good time. It was a pretty awesome turnout. You know, There were some long waits to get into the servers, which I apologize if you didn't get a chance to uh, get in and play with us, but we did have a really good time. There were some very solid teams that we played against, and this is one of the games of a very competitive defense we had. Um, this team beat us on two games before this, and then we kind of cranked down right here. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the weapon today, and I know a lot of you guys like actual tips and tricks and content and stuff like that, but uh, in my last video where I talked about a weapon, I talked about the M4A1 and how I thought it was, oh, and I need ammo. Give me ammo, man! Um, but I was talking about how I thought the M4A1 was the best uh, engineer choice because it has a nice solid rate of fire, it has pretty average stats, but you know, I, I posed the question to you guys. What do you guys think is the best engineer choice? And I was actually kind of surprised by the results. A lot of you guys like the SG553, which I did the last showdown on, and I've always been a big fan of that weapon. But the biggest surprise to me was that a lot of you guys love, and I mean love, the ACR. And I was really surprised by that because, you know, I've done videos on the ACR in the past talking about how I actually think that it's a very, very solid weapon, how I probably think it's either the first or second best engineer choice out there. And I know a lot of you guys don't like it because it has a smaller magazine, you know, it does things weird. It's a very strange weapon because it's such a consistent weapon. It's always going to be a six bull kill. Never is it really going to be a five, and never is it going to be more than six unless you're like hitting arms at like really long ranges. It's always going to be that nice six bullet kill, which makes it the best choice for a suppressor. In fact, I can't think of a suppressed weapon that's better than the ACR. I mean, it, it, I'm, I'm being serious. Now, the, there are some downsides to the ACR. I'm not going to act like it's the end all god weapon. It does have the smaller magazine, and that's a big deal. You know, you have those three to four less rounds. And you know that could you could lose a gunfight if you don't have that one extra bullet because you know one extra bullet is 20 damage. So, I mean, I can see where that could get on people's nerves, but it reloads super quick. It is the fastest reload out of all the engineer choices. The only other actual weapon that's anywhere close to it is the AS Val, but the AS Val is actually pretty slow when it's empty. So, because uh, you do have to pull the the charge back on it, but um, this is 1.8 reload, and that's fast. That is very fast. So that'll kind of make up for the fact that it does have a smaller magazine. Another downside to it is it does have a uh, really bad hip fire spread. And a lot of people look at that and they don't they don't really think about that when they pick a weapon. They're like, oh, you know, all, all carbines are going to be the same unless they're bullpup, which isn't really true. I mean, it's true to a certain extent, but... With the ACR, especially if you have it suppressed, the hip fire spread on this is similar to that of some of the uh, some of the assault rifles, which is not characteristic of typical um, carbines in Battlefield 3. So it is like I think a 2.75 something like that with a suppressor. That's the spread for this. So it's kind of similar to that of like the M16 or some of those other assault rifles. So it's not horrible. I mean, it's not going to like hurt you a lot. But in terms of being similar to the M4. It's got a little bit less than desirable uh, hit fire statistics, so that's one of the downsides to it. But I think the low recoil, uh, the fast reload, the consistent damage at range make this thing an absolute powerhouse. And I think you guys chose wisely, and a lot of you guys saying that you do like it. Now, if you're not a fan of the ACR, you have to sit down and really, really think about this weapon. I mean, what situations are you using it in? This is a mid-range monster. This thing is absolutely beastly at mid-range. Now. The one downside to the ACR and the suppressor is the bullet velocity is very, very low. So you do have to keep that in mind. You will have to compensate for that. It means that your travel time is going to take longer. It means your, your drop-off will happen faster. But like I said, it's so consistent that you don't really worry about that. So try the ACR out. I know you guys, uh, a lot of you guys seem to love it. A lot of you guys probably still seem to hate it. But give it some love. But I did go flawless in this game, so it was a pretty good game, and I enjoyed that. Um, but I just want to let you guys know here at the end of this video that we will be doing the Xbox event tonight. The name of the server is... Excessive Gaming, it will be on Xbox, just search for it, they've got it all set up on Rush and some small map conquests, we're not going to do any conquests on larger maps, I'll try my best not to suck at Xbox, but hopefully you guys can all show up, um, there might be some wait times, I know we had a lot of wait times last night, but uh, I'll try my best to kind of switch teams like I did last night as well, hopefully you guys can all make it and ha we'll have a good time and I will see you guys there, peace.